Hey, what's going on guys? It is Last here, and welcome to my first episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Player Predictions. Today, we are going to be running through four players uh, from the Premier League who I think will get some upgrades or whatever, uh, and just give you the idea of what I think their cards will look like in FIFA 15. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, then go check out the fifashop.co.uk and use my code LA5TY to get yourself a nice little 5% discount. They've lowered the prices already as well, which is great. So nice and cheap for you guys. Uh, and if this video can hit 2,000 likes, it would be amazing. So let's start things off then. First player we're going to be talking about today is this guy, Sergio Aguero. As you can see, he's got an 88 rated card on FIFA 14. Great pace, great dribbling, great shooting, that sort of thing. And I think this is the sort of thing they might do to his FIFA 15 card. Uh, as you'll see, not really much change there. We're going to leave him at an 88 rated. And that is because, you know, obviously he was banging them in at the start of the season. Then there was that gap of injury and stuff like that. Uh, and then it just, so at the end of it, I know that Man City won the league and everything, but I just don't think it turned out to be a, one of Aguero's best seasons, you know. Not quite on par with the season when they won the league before and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I don't think they'll downgrade, I don't think they'll upgrade. I think we'll get a card that looks like that. Again, four star skills and weak foot, uh, and the stats look really, really nice. Moving on to our second player of the episode is this guy, Aiden Hazard. Now, uh, what I've decided to do with him is uh, he got an upgrade on FIFA 14, uh, you know, as, as he went from an 86 to an 88, I believe. Uh, and I reckon that he'll also keep the same rating on his overall. But the stats on that, that overall 88 card, I think will all go up probably by one. Uh, maybe not like the defending or heading or stuff like that. But I think that they'll show a little improvement without increasing his overall to an 89. Uh, just, just because. I think that's what EA will do. Uh, and we'll see some great stats. You know, 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 83 shooting, 86 passing. And again, like the four star skills and weak foot should be really, really nice. A really cool card to use on Ultimate Team. Now let's move on to our third player of the episode. 88 rated Luis Suarez is the card that he currently has on FIFA 14. Uh, what I've decided to do is go up to a 90. So uh, he, had an, he had an upgrade on FIFA 14 from 86 to 88. Uh, and he's just had such an incredible season for Liverpool. Uh, so, you know what? He, I think he deserves it. I think he'll either be an 89 or a 90. I've sort of pushed the boat out and gone with that 90 rated. Uh, as you can see, stats-wise, uh, I think something around 84 pace. Uh, that stat will include some really, really fast acceleration, you know, in the in-game stats. Because the guy is rapid off the mark. Uh, fantastic dribbling. He is, one, without doubt, one of the best players uh, with the ball at his feet. 87 shooting. Some of that stat will be like, you know, his finishing and stuff like that uh, will be very, very high on the next FIFA. And I've given him the four-star skills and weak foot as well. Uh, now, moving on to our final player of the episode. We've got Yaya Toure. He's currently got an 86-rated card uh, on FIFA 14. But again, he's had an absolute blinder of a season, really helping Man City to win that league. Uh, and I think he deserves at least an 88-rated card. Now, I've put him at centre mid because, you know, with Yaya, he is up and down the pitch. I'm never quite sure whether to say he's a cam or a defensive mid because he is always up and down the pitch. You'll find him in defence, you'll find him in attack. And he scores loads and loads of goals. For that reason, I have increased his shooting by six stats because things like his free kick accuracy, his shot power and finishing and all that sort of stuff, I think will increase quite dramatically because he really is awesome at shooting. Uh, you know, you know, he scores so many goals, which is crazy for a midfielder. And then I think all of his stats will go up by a couple. Uh, and that would be an incredible card. You know, he'd only he'd start the game off with only having one stat, and that is pace lower than 80 rated. I think that would be amazing. He'd sell for an absolute ton. The only thing is, he may not be in a Man City shirt next season, which would be a shame because I love using him in the Premier League and seeing, watching him week in, week out. Uh, you know, in the you know, just taking taking note of the Premier League as it happens. Um, so, what do you guys think? Who do you think should be in the next episode? Also, I want to get the comments going. So, if you don't agree with any of these stats please let me know down below uh, back it up with the reason what you think the rating should be and stuff like that and we'll get a little bit of debate going in the comments um, so if this video could hit 2,000 likes it would be amazing thanks for watching subscribe if you are new around here uh, and I'll catch you next time guys peace